returning from our final day on this Disney World trip. If you're new here, my name's Ivy. I'm a Disneyland local that loves traveling to Disney World, and I brought you guys along on our family vacation this trip. Now, AJ and I are headed into Epcot. Our alarms went off at 6.55. We got a virtual boarding group. And just as we were about to leave, I said, uh, hey, AJ, you also want to buy a lightning lane? She knew I did. So we have a estimated return time of about 9.30 for our virtual queue and a lightning lane that starts at 8.30. So I did get up. I took my Dramamine. I just took some aspirin. We have some ice water and I have my fan. The thing is, can we go six for six? Can we do six rides and get six different songs? That would be unheard of. There's only one way to find out. So we did not get up, we did not get out of bed for the early hour entry into Epcot. There, we weren't going to go for any attraction reasons. We were just going to go for pastries. Surprise. But now I think we're going to grab our pastries back, coming back after Guardians. Um, checkout is at 11, but our flight isn't until 4. So I think we're going to have a little bit of pool time at Stormalong Bay. It is Guardians of the Galaxy time. There's a toasty one out here today in Florida, and uh, I don't regret buying a UV umbrella one bit. Worth every penny. It's interesting, it's a, a much shorter queue than yesterday when we came in. It's 10 to 9 right now, so the park has only been open for 20 minutes. Yesterday we came in closer to 11, and this whole room was packed. We pop into the store after the ride, and AJ's grabbing a coffee mug. But this is one of the color changing or like heat sensitive mugs. It's a picture of Spaceship Earth. On the back, look at that. AJ's grabbing one of those and a magnet for his desk. Merchandise mobile checkout. Oh, look at you. You can do that here. I love this feature. It's one of my favorites. Let's see. Treasures of Xander. You choose the shop you're at. Scan an item. Add in the bag. Scan the items. Boom. Check out. So we got Disco Inferno again. So we are not one for one for one for one for one on all the songs, but that's okay. We sat in the very front row this time and it was real smooth. Um, it's not as whippy, which is nice. And uh, they are on boarding group number 35 and we are 36. So we are going to head back in in uh, about 15 minutes. We just got off Guardians for the sixth time, second time today. We sat in the very last row, and let me tell you, it is way more fun, but I feel way less great. <laughs> we got September, so we have had six, we have had five of the six songs. We are just missing Conga. I call that a success for the few days that we've had in Epcot. So. We're gonna grab some cold beverages over at Joffrey's, head back to the hotel, and check out of our room by 11. AJ ran into the patisserie to get us some breakfast. It was our plan to have a nice, peaceful breakfast in Epcot this morning, um, but somehow we ended up on Guardians twice. And now it's 11 and we haven't had breakfast. <laughs> so he's grabbing us um, some pastries from France. He's on his way back. Let's see, it is 10.57. Nothing like cutting it close for checkout. I just packed up our owner's locker. I'm about to call Bell Services for them to pick it up. They take it to the front, and then the company that runs um, the owner's lockers, they come and picked, pick them up. So I switched my sign to checked out. So then they take it back to the warehouse, put it in a certain section, and then I get an email saying where it's at. And then I fill out my profile for when I'm coming back and they drop it off at my resort. So it's so handy. I love it so much. So I'm about to call Bell Services. 
AJ just has to pack up a couple more items when he gets back. I am packed, and now I have my swimsuit on because we're just going to kind of relax and head to the pool. It is, uh, let's see, we need to leave for the airport around 1.30-ish. So we have a few hours to just hang. When I come to Epcot, this is everything I dream of for breakfast. It's like French bread with melty cheese and bacon. It's so good. And then we always take one to go home. I have tomorrow. We actually decided not to go to Stormalong Bay and just come to the, to the DVC pool, more quiet pool. I mean, listen to the music. We are popping back out onto the boardwalk from the little side entrance at Beach Club. We decided that we should grab a bite to eat before we head to the airport, so we're gonna walk over to Boardwalk Deli, which is just over this little bridge. Just over the bridge is Sea Breeze Point, which is one of the locations for Disney Fairy Tale Weddings. It looks like they may be setting up for a wedding. I couldn't tell if it was gonna be set up or take down, but uh, it looks like set up. AJ and I both got Italian sandwiches. They come with sides, so we got some house-made kettle chips. They also have these deli pickles, so we had to grab those also. Ooh, that's refreshing. That's pretty bomb. Now for our Italian sandwich, but we have cheese, salami, pepperoni, capicola, arugula, pesto, and mayo. And provolone. And provolone. Mm. The bread is good. It's a butter bun. It's very chewy. But the sandwich in a side was, what, $10.99? Not a bad lunch. Although, we got one side of chips and one side of coleslaw. And the coleslaw looks a little questionable. It's also Meltdown 30. In hindsight, we could have definitely shared that sandwich and a pickle. But. It was really good. It was really good. I'm glad we ate before getting on the airplane. Because we land at 6.10. 15, something like that, um, LA time. And it would have just been real bad if we were hungry and hangry. It's that time. I will say, given how we've done our past trips, it's easier to like loungy pool day right before leaving for the airport rather than leaving straight for the airport from Animal Kingdom saying goodbye to the Tree of Life. It's also easier saying goodbye to Disney World by saying, see you in two weeks. <laughs> I'm a firm believer in always having your next trip planned. Ours just typically aren't that close to each other. This next trip that we have coming up was just a really last minute add-on, so. So we'll be back. Goodbye, Beach Club. You are also small. One time, we will stay here more than one night. Because I really do think I really enjoy this resort. some stuff in the afternoon but normally we have some salads, some little sandwiches, of course your cuterie. They 
also have a coffee bar, which is so nice, especially when we land on a red eye. Uh, and they do have iced coffee, as well as some fancy espresso machines. So we got some chicken tacos. I got one soft shell, one hard shell. You never really know what's going to be up here. So like the normal buffet is those like, little slider sandwiches. So sometimes it's just not enough for food or a meal. Today totally would have. <laughs> on an airplane. Uh, we ended up being delayed for about an hour because of lightning, finally took off, and I pretty much slept the whole flight. I was out. You were out. You twitched yourself away from that. I did. I did jump, like, in my sleep, but I was basically sleeping off and on the whole time. We hopped into the Delta Sky Club to just grab a quick bite, refill on some beverages, and I'm going to make myself a cup of hot tea for the road and hit home to go get the puppy. So, can you believe this morning we were uh, writing Guardians? Twice. I can't believe that this was all the same day. Um, but thank you so much for following along on all of our Disney World adventures on this family trip. We'll be back in two weeks. It'll definitely be a different vibe. It'll be an adult trip, and we're going for a Disney wedding. So, we'll hope to see you there. Thank you so much again, and we'll see you guys next time.